I found you because I'd be uh, stalking the Haitian pages as I'm learning how to, I'm in my third year of learning how to be an authentication after being an Americanized, gentrified lump of clay for the last 20 years of life. <laughs> We're in the same boat. We're in the same boat, okay? I'm because that, that's a really big part of who I am. That's beautiful. Yeah, so I am, so I'm Haitian and Italian. I'm biracial. My mom's Haitian. My dad's Italian. Not like, not like Italian Italian, more like Bronx, New York, like Sopranos, like, yeah. So it's like, I never really, growing up, I always felt like I kind of had to like pick a side when it came to my culture. Like I was too white for the black kids and I was too white and I was like too black for the white kids. Too white for the black kids. You know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and the like, girl sweatshirt thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Big like identity crisis central for like somebody growing up being like eight years old and being told like I had to pick a side. And like, I'm, uh, I'm second generation. So my grandma is from Haiti and it's like, my mom speaks Creole. It was her first language. I don't speak a lick of it. Like, I don't know it at all. Like we're the first people in the family to be like, kind of like Americanized. I feel like, cause I, my brother and I, my older brother and I were the first grandkids of the family. So it's like, we kind of were born with a different lifestyle. And it's like, I feel like I always kind of had to choose. So I never really claimed a side growing up. And then when I did start to like claim the Haitian part of me, I would have people tell me, no, you're not. And I'm like, <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? So I kind of have felt like for a long time, I've kind of had to try and fight to prove that I'm Haitian to people, which kind of gave me like a really unhealthy relationship with my culture. And when I started making my film, which was a year ago, I started production a year ago. I was supposed to finish it last year, but I have gone through a lot of changes since making it. And I feel like now I'm in a better place to kind of make it because I just know more. And um, I kind of wanted to make the film to kind of show people like, hey, these are my experiences. I really hope I get validated by the Haitian community. And that was not the mindset I should have gone into when making this film but through making it I actually started to not only learn like really really learn my uh my culture and like its history mm -hmm. on a level like me researching and me looking up books and literature and stuff like that and me actually sitting down and studying not only was I doing that but I was genuinely like connecting with the side of myself that I felt like was denied for so long and it's like now I have Duolingo and I'm like learning Creole because they have Creole on Duolingo now. And I'm like trying to make an effort and I go to my family gatherings and I don't feel like the oddball out anymore. I don't feel like embarrassed to be who I am. I don't feel like I really have something to prove to people anymore, which is something that I like genuinely thought I was going to have to deal with for my whole life. But I genuinely feel like I'm very comfortable in who I am. I know who I am. I have poured so much into my film that it's like, if anybody tries to tell me I'm not Haitian, then they're just like an idiot because go ahead and make a film. Go ahead and make a film and come back and tell me I'm not Haitian. But <laughs> it's been it's been really healing to kind of work on it and um, kind of reach out to my family, ask them like their experiences of being like, not only being an immigrant, but just like being Haitian. So I could put it into my film. Even my best friend, she's Haitian. So I, she, like she's from Haiti. So I asked her, a little bit so that she can contribute and like the voice actors i worked with all of them are haitian one of them is literally from haiti i would have to like facetime her and like zoom call her and like she'd be like oh yeah i'm in blah 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 and i'm like that's awesome like that's awesome that i'm working with somebody straight from the source but i just feel like after everything i've been through with kind of the pre-production of my film i just i feel like i've been transformed with how i view myself and my culture and it's been really nice because I, I didn't think I was going to get to a point like that. Like you said, like I've been living my life as like an Americanized Haitian. Like I'll eat the food. My family's Haitian, but like, especially not speaking the language. And for a long time, I felt like I had no tie to it, especially because I'm half white. Nobody in my family is mixed. It's just me and my brother. We're the only mixed people of the family. So it's like, we definitely feel like the oddball out. And it's like, that's sad. It's sad that like, it's sad to feel rejected by your own culture at times. I don't feel like there's like a lonelier feeling 
in the world than that. But I really felt, I really feel like I've healed a lot <laughs> by, by making this. And I hope to share it with the Haitian community once it's finished, not just to get their validation, but to just tell this story. Cause I feel like people are looking for stories like, like the ones I'm telling. Like, like you could tell by the, the post you found me on, obviously people are looking for stories to be told about us. So I'm hoping I could do justice to that. That's absolutely amazing. <laughs>